share with you guys um sometimes you ask about my jewelry <laughs> this one is so funny look at that isn't that the dream of the early 2000s look it's spinning it's a spinning necklace i howled when i got this in the mail i got it from distance jewelry retailer they're an online costume jewelry retailer they have so many cool funky pieces i love custom jewelry i feel like it's really fun to Find some really cool pieces that are super unique and interesting and conversation starters, especially when you're going on a date. Look at that, it spins. It literally reminds me of like, remember it back in the early 2000s? Or maybe you don't. If not, Google it. When like rappers like Nelly and that sort of thing, they would have these chains and they would like literally spin, like spinner chains, that's what it reminds me of. But it's a flower and it's just so freaking cute. It's actually like pink in there. It's so pretty and actually it looks elegant. But I guess when you go out on, at night and you want to have a ratchet good time, you could just spin your chain and like, I don't know, like this is so ratchet. But I'm here for that sort of thing. Check them out. I do have a code for you guys that you can use and get a percent off. They have some really fun things. And then ask me any questions as well. What's up you guys? It's Valuable on the Perfume Don back at you with a very fun, I'm really excited to do this video, you guys. I'm really excited. Today, I'm going to share with you the scents that I've been wearing. The Well, I just chose five. I just chose five. Since that I've been wearing when I've been going out in dates, going out to dates, actually, if I could speak proper English, oops. Um, but these are some scents that I've been wearing, but I didn't want to just give you these scents. I wanted to also give you some scents, you know, the vibes, the scents and the scents. I feel like these five tips and five scents are going to be really good to equip you with that toolbox that you need when you're getting out there. And let me know some additional tips that I have missed. These are kind of geared towards what you should do before in preparation or kind of like the mentality you should have going into it. And then also these are some fragrances that I really like to wear when I'm out and about and zipping and on. okay? If you like this kind of content, like it. It helps me out a lot. Comment below, subscribe, hit notification bell so you can know when I'm uploading and let's get right into this video. So the first tip that I have for you all is for you to practice self-care when you are dating, okay? So you have to make sure that since you are, maybe you've been single, well, ho girl, hopefully you single, you're dating, but you've been single and you're bringing someone else into your life, you have to make sure that you have that self-care element, that you're still taking time for yourself because sometimes it could be a little less time if you're bringing in someone else into your life. So make sure you're still doing things for yourself still doing your hobbies i know dating takes up some time so maybe you don't have time for other things but still make sure you're doing your hobbies make sure you're doing you know if you like to work out making time for friends and family don't just completely sever all those things that you like to do um to make time for dating make sure that you're like making time for all of them and really balancing your time and that's my version of self-care but it's super super important so you don't completely lose yourself in the process of trying to find someone so the first scent that I would like to go with that statement is going to be, well, it doesn't really go with a statement, but I just love to wear this one. If you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you know that I love Ariana Grande. Ari, it smells so freaking good. Why is my bottle leaking? I have like so many backups of this though. Mm, it smells so good. It's the quintessential fruity floral sweet scent. I feel like all the girls, if you love YSL Mon Paris, you would love this one as well. This is just like a sweeter version. It's got some, I guess a lot of people say it smells like a raspberry jam donut, but I get more floral than that and kind of has a background of like a sugary sweet kind of a scent. It smells youthful, but it also smells just very glamorous and flirty. Mm, it just smells so good. This is the kind of scent also that you cannot over spray. I mean, it's, it just smells so good. It smells like berry sweetness with that light floral fluffy sweetness. I just, I, I love it so much. I have so many backups. I, I go through it like water. Actually, I've had this one for quite some time, but I have so many little small travel size ones around that I've been going through those. And then also, I don't know if you've been with me that long, but at the beginning of the year, Walgreens had all their fragrances like half off, including the Ariana Grande. So I was getting so many of them for like uh, maybe $10. So I racked up. So we're going to keep her in rotation, but I love to wear this one on dates. Again, very flirty, feminine it shows that you know you're glamorous you're feminine and it's just a very delightful scent and not something that's too polarizing i feel like when you go on dates you don't want to wear something too polarizing you want to wear something that most people will like because you don't want to off put them or maybe you do okay so tip number two is going to be make sure that you are emotionally well before you go out and start dating this is super important because 
with dating, unless you are, are, you know, dating your boyfriend from when you were five years old, there's going to be some component of rejection in some sense, whether it's overt or covert. If it doesn't work out, that's kind of an element of a form of rejection. If you haven't done the emotional readiness on your end, you're going to take it very personal. It's going to hurt. It's going to sting. And it's going to put you in a negative mood and a negative mindset about the dating experience, which makes it more difficult to meet more people. So make sure that you're going into it emotionally well, as well as we can be. It's an ongoing process, but make sure that you've done the work to kind of heal any wounds that you may have, especially centering being left or rejection or love or love being withheld, because that's just going to hang over like a dark cloud whenever you're going out there and meeting people and potentially opening yourself up in different ways. So I just want to say, make sure that you're doing the work to make sure you're emotionally well, or else you're going to become very fiery and it just, some things can go a little bit left. Okay. So make sure you're doing that. And that's tip number two. So fragrance number two, fragrance number two is like my go-to scent for the summer. As you can see, she's almost done. I'm going to have to buy it back up. This is kind of expensive for a body mist, but it's actually so strong. It could be a perfume. So this is the, this is the Sol de Gero Brazilian Crush Chirosa, caramelized vanilla macadamia, um, I guess macadamia nut. What else does it have in here? White chocolate. Listen, it's just all the good stuff. White chocolate, coconut blossom, taco bean, which is kind of like a creamy, sweet kind of a scent. It's got sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, and I think I already said caramelized vanilla, but I mean, girl, does that not sound delicious? It definitely smells delicious. So, oh, and this is also a body and a hair mist. I and mean, you guys know I love a hair mist. I think it's a great way, especially if you're on a date, to, you know, flip your hair, flip your weave, flip your wig, flip your buzz cut, whatever, and just have it smell good and very delicious. So I love to wear this one again. It is pretty strong. It's wow it's pretty strong it's like stronger than most perfumes kind of reminds me of the kaylee vanilla a little bit i can actually see those two pairing together very well so yeah but this just smells so good it definitely smells very much so like toasted sweet like it smells like baked goods it literally that's what it smells like kind of reminds me of the h&m vanilla too which is now discontinued r.i.p but this will hold a special place in my heart $19 again, that's kind of expensive, but I also want the entire range. If you guys have seen all of the body mists they have, I think they have three at this point together in like travel sizes. I would love to do that, to try them all and like actually wear them um, because I do love this one, but I do want them all. So, but yeah, it smells really good. It smells like a delicious treat. Okay, so for tip number three, I highly suggest don't always go for the most expensive date. I know we're kind of living in a climate now where it's all about high value men, high maintenance women, and that's the standard. And there's a component to that. But I will say that it's a little bit more pressure when you go on a first date to a very expensive restaurant and it gives him more opportunity to kind of hide who he is. I feel like it's easier to keep it together when you're sitting at this stuffy restaurant where you don't have to do many things that would throw you off your guard versus if you go to a more casual establishment. Now, I'm not saying go for drinks at night because usually that just means they want one thing. And I'm not saying go for just coffee because if you're going to get all dolled up the way we get dolled up, dolling, then I just don't think it's worth the time of a $2 coffee unless he's Brad Pitt. Okay, yeah. If he's Brad Pitt, yeah, let's go get that coffee, Brad. No, but I mean, you could just go to a nice casual or a fast casual um, dining establishment. It doesn't have to be freaking Capitol Grill. It doesn't have to be Nobu. I feel like in a casual environment, he's gonna let loose a little bit more. He's gonna relax more so you can see how he really speaks. Does he use profanity around you? Uh-uh-uh, not profanity, not around a lady. Does he use profanity? Is he looking at other women's booty cheeks as they saunter by? That's a no. Um, is he still as gentlemanly in a casual setting? Because if he is, then he typically is in life versus he might just be putting on if you guys are in a stuffy establishment. So keep an eye on that. Don't always go for the nice expensive date just because you want to be eating your scallops and your lobster girl, okay? Sometimes you got to actually see how they move. And speaking with that, I really, really like this one from YSL. This is Black Opium Intense. I really love this one. It's perfect. It's nice for the summertime to transition until evening. It doesn't have as much as, it doesn't have as much of the coffee note, I feel like, than the original because that coffee note and the black opium original, I feel like really makes it 
only for evening or only for sexy environments. With this one, I feel like they removed a little bit of the coffee, but it still has the same amount of performance to me. So I feel like it's a little bit more versatile. Something about it was a little bit boozy, which is nice for a date. And then it still has a little bit of the sweetness of, I feel like it might have some vanilla in there and floral, um, but just not as heavy on the coffee. So I've been loving to wear this one when I'm going out. Still has the sexy element, but just not as dark, um, if I can say that, because that's coffee. Even though, you know what? Coffee scents give me dark and sexy, even though coffee, when, when we drink it typically, unless you're in Europe, we typically drink it in the morning. So I think that's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so tip number four is going to be to date on your terms. So dating should be mutually beneficial. You should not start off dating or even a relationship by compromising that much. It should still be at the stage to where you both are getting something out of it and it's not like one-sided. For example, if you guys are planning a date, if you guys are planning a date and you typically cannot do Thursdays, but he's like, I wanna hang out Thursdays, just be upfront and say, I cannot do Thursdays. Here's an alternative. I can do a brunch on Sunday morning, or I can do um, a Tuesday evening if that works better with your schedule, whichever one's more conducive with both of you guys' schedule. Don't you be moving your calendar all around for him and all that sorts of things. Because first of all, it shows that you don't have ownership over yourself, your life, your destiny, your future. And it just shows that, you know, you're kind of desperate and just wanting to accept whatever. So it's okay to say no. If it makes him so angry and irate to where he never wants to speak with you again, you dodged a bullet, okay? And you might have literally dodged a bullet because he might be out of his mind. Um, but seriously, don't make it a one-sided thing. You guys should be, you know, collaborating to see what works with both of you guys together. Because ultimately, if you get into a relationship, you guys are going to have to collaborate. It shouldn't be one person moving everything aside for the other person okay so with that pink sugar i know it's childish girl da, 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 da. don't do that but pink sugar i really love this one i'm not gonna let her go i don't care she's yellowed she's yellow and mellow but that's just what happens when you get some vanilla or sweeter fragrances um sometimes they yellow in turn actually i feel like they get stronger when they get that little boozy look to them a little boozy um they actually turn a little bit stronger but this one smells like burnt cotton candy really really like it it smells very very sugary sweet if you do not like sweet scents you're gonna you, you're not gonna like this one it also comes in a hair mist i do have a hair mist i don't wear it that often i'll probably start wearing it pair together um even though you're not supposed to be wearing sweet scents in the summer who cares pay my money i'm gonna wear it Smells really good and hopefully your date likes sweet scents. Typically guys do like sweet scents, so that's why I would say it's a safe bet. And it's a food scent, so most people are familiar, so it's not something that's very foreign or polarizing. If he doesn't like sweets, then either he's a health nut or a lunatic. Usually they're the same thing. <laughs> okay, for the fifth and final tip. The fifth and final tip is going to be know your deal breakers before you even get out there, girl. Know what's that one thing that if he does or says, pew, you're out of there. For me, for moi, if he mentions anything about doing the do, and it's maybe within at least the first three days, maybe more. If it's in within the first three days and he's already talking about doing the do, please stop. First of all, I'm and, you know up there in age so it's one thing if you're a young little teenage boy okay yeah maybe his, his mind's going crazy his hormones are through the roof you're an old guy now you know like we're 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 grown grown if he's still thinking about that as his first thing first of all that means he's already put you in that category and secondly that just means that you're probably not going to be moved out of that category since you're there he's going to want only that thing for you so you might as well just get out of there unless you're there for that thing as well so just know those deal breakers when he says it when he does it when he acts that way if it's not opening doors for you if it's a deal breaker and if it speaks to something a little bit larger then just know those things so then you don't have to debate internally whether i should continue should i continue no it's a deal breaker for you You've probably known that it's a deal breaker from someone else or a pattern, even though you shouldn't lump people together. You just kind of know what works for you at this point and just get out of there at that point. You know, it's no need to prolong. It's a red flag for you for a reason. So get out of there. Know what works for you and know what does not. For the fifth and final scent, it is Mi Favorito. Mi Favorito. 
I love this scent so much. I'm gonna have to repurchase it because I am flying through this John. This is Mancera Veil Vanilla. I know you're sick of me talking about it. I'm not sick of talking about it. It's another sweet one. Actually, I think all the scents that I chose today are floral sweet. Oops, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I did notice that I did that, but I like them. Um, oh my God, this bottle is actually, hmm, this bottle is peeling. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? The bottle's peeling. It's like on my thumb. Under my thumb. You guys like that song by the Rolling Thorns? Roll, rolling Thorns. The Rolling Thorns. <laughs> the Rolling Thorns. No. But, okay. So this fragrance, it says Velvet Vanilla. It's got tuberose in there. The tuberose smells like bubble gum. It smells like birthday cake to me. It smells super sweet. It has great longevity. This scent, I'm going to repurchase it just because the performance is through the roof. You can spray it five o'clock it's going to be on you at 11 p.m you can actually spray it at the beginning of the day it's going to be on you all day long it smells so freaking delicious it is again a sweet scent if you don't like sweet scents you're not going to like it it says that it has tuberose but it doesn't lean very floral to me it doesn't lean very floral to me it definitely gives me more birthday cake almost like a dense sweetness but i like it it's not too dense to where you can't wear it in the summer though um, but obviously I wear what I want to, so love her and I will be repurchasing her. And I think it's probably one of my favorite Mancera scents that I've ever had. Yes, yes. But yeah, so those are my tips that I have for you guys for dating as you're getting out there. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video, if you want me to do some more tips. I feel like at this point, I'm kind of dating in the Carrie Bradshaw sense, even though I guess she was dating for love, but I also feel like she would date for material. And at this point, I feel like I'm dating for material. It's fun. You learn about people, you meet people. And you get a free mail. No, I'm joking. That's that's not the main goal. But if you're going to pay, let's go. But yeah, those are my scents. Let me know what you think about the fragrances. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.